This is me deconstructing feminism like an Aspie. Just to draw a parallel on how stupid it sounds if you deconstruct racial issues like an Aspie. Okay, take for instance. And I can make it work because I'm a douchebag, but females have less visual spatial capacity and they have a lower IQ average by one point and they tend to have less critical thinking abilities but they're great they're awesome at in-group activities and that level of socialization they're really connected to each other on a highly intuitive level because of that, if you had a matriarchy right now, these streets would be a lot cleaner consecutively, but people would be less, and they would find less identity, less comfort, less social cohesion as a people, ironically, because there's not a hierarchy in there. That's all gone. So it'd be like, Neanderthal civilization for us Neanderthals. It sucks. Especially if you've got these Cro-Mag bitches up in here that are stupid as fuck running it. And you know, if this institution can become really bureaucratic and full of petty tyranny, then no one's going to want to be here. They want a place they can resonate with. So you might have more crime, you might have more criminals raping everybody up in here, and you'll definitely have white flight of some sort. More dramatic than white flight in Detroit. It'd be a lot quicker than 60 years for it to come to pass. People just not want to be involved. That's how you deconstruct feminism, like in Aspie. See, I didn't talk about the advantages of patriarchy in a practical way. I just pointed at random shit about the brain and then told it like how it is. Now, if I wanted to go full Aspie, I'd actually use actual data as a point, but again, I play an Aspie on TV. <laughs> Not in real life. Okay, I'm in real life. I'm very autistic, but whatever. It, it is what it is. Now, how would you take another social justice mood point? Uh, just a gay issue? But then, that's like a false dichotomy because people say random shit about the gay guy in the brain. It's, it's, you got a lot of MSMs, men having sex with men, how that's becoming an identitarian thing. Now, people are, or doctors are in the womb, and they're seeing a little blip on a radar, and they're saying, hey, that kid has identity issues, gender identity issues, it's gonna end up a tranny, it's gonna end up a diciscum mofo, you gotta love that shit. It's a man trapped in a woman's body, but the soul doesn't exist. Anyway, this is Miss Maraca 7, and suck my dick.